Hello everybody, Chris Grant here again. This episode is going to be three simple warm-up exercises that I do before I even start playing piano and getting ready to do work on a piece or whatever project I'm working on. Um, they're similar to Hannon exercises, so if you already have the Hannon book, you're doing something similar like what I'm going about to show. So the first exercise is to kind of stretch out your fingers a little bit. Uh, it's you're using an octave and you're playing the middle part of the chord while playing the octave. The second exercise is to get your hands to do kind of a rocking motion. So when you're doing the second one, you want to rock your hands or rotate your wrists a little bit as you're playing. The third exercise is kind of just to get your fingers a little strengthened and when you're playing the third one really listen to make sure you're playing the notes evenly and there's there's no clatter like the notes are all being played at the same time. Now, in the first and the third piece, I do have pedal markings. So if you want to use the pedal while you're doing the first and third one, just as an extra challenge, I recommend that you do that because you're playing, for instance, when you're playing the C chord and you go into the D minor and you're playing the thirds, you can kind of connect those with the pedal. Now the idea is not to play these super fast. You can go as fast as you want to, but this is more of a warm up and I don't really use a metronome uh, when I do warm ups. I just, this is just to get my fingers, you know, a little warmed up. So here they are. So let's get started.
if you're playing these exercises and you're having tension in your hands or in your arms or anywhere, you're not playing them correctly. There should not be any tension in your body while you do these exercises. Uh, I'm going to have another episode in the future on the topic of avoiding tension in your hands or anywhere in your body while you're playing. So this is my tip for this week and we'll see you next time.